The geographic location of a financial service provider's customers greatly influences the provider's ability to reach and cost-effectively meet those customers' needs. Urban Africans are nearly twice as likely to have a financial service as those living in rural areas. Yet, even in urban areas, financial service providers can find it challenging to adequately serve customers who don't live in registered suburbs or who aren't formally employed. This is largely due to limited information on the location, context and associated financial needs of this market. Geographic Information System Data or GIS data provides you with just this. The location as the spatial component and the context as the attribute data. These two forms of data together are what make up GIS data. The spatial component gives you the where, so it could be a street address or GPS coordinates. The attribute data tells you the why, when or what associated with the where. So this could be rainfall in millimeters, social media post content or timestamps. It can also provide you with the type of financial access at that location, such as an ATM, a branch or agent. Alternative data sources increasingly provide us with greater insights into the location and context of the population. Think about call detail records or CDR data. The coordinates of where the caller used their phone from is the spatial data. The timestamp, who they called, and the length of the conversation are examples of the attribute data. The combination of these two data components is what makes GIS data so powerful for revealing insights that allow you to viably serve a larger customer base. But how and where can you use GIS data to help your business? Let's take a look at some examples. You can use GIS data for agent network management. CDR data can be used to identify when and where customers aggregate. The spatial component of call detail records can be derived from which cell tower the users are connected to and the timestamps on the records reveal when they were at those locations. Mobile money data, specifically the transaction values and volumes, can then be overlaid to see which of these aggregation points have heightened economic activity. These insights can be used to identify where to offer agent services. GIS data can be used to ensure the placement of your marketing is undoubtedly targeting the right people. GIS data derived from CDR data, smartphone apps or mass transportation ticketing systems capture the locations and timestamps of existing and potential consumers. Through understanding where your customers are, where their key transportation routes are, and where key infrastructure is located, you can optimally place your billboards for maximum viewership. GIS data can also be used for underwriting agricultural insurance claims. In the case of index insurance, customer location data can be plotted against rainfall patterns for the area. If rainfall is above or below a defined threshold, an automatic payout can be distributed to affected farmers. This eliminates the need for in-person, time-consuming and expensive assessments. These are just a few examples of how you can use GIS data to help your business. But it certainly doesn't stop there. GIS data can also be used to inform customer segmentation, credit risk assessment, complaint resolution, sales, distribution optimization, and new customer identification. Really, the possibilities are endless. Okay, so how can you get your hands on GIS data? You may not realize it, but you could already have GIS data. If you are a bank, your transactional data most likely has a spatial component. If you are a mobile network operator, you could use your CDR data. Otherwise, take a look at websites like Natural Earth Data, FSP Maps, QGIS, or ESRI Open Data. They're all useful open source GIS tools. A quick Google search will reveal many more open source GIS options available to you. 
There are also numerous commercial providers of GIS data which can easily be found online. There is no doubt, GIS data is a powerful information source that can help you identify and better serve your largest potential customer base, Africa's financially excluded. The question is, how are you going to use GIS data in your business in the future? Visit i2ifacility.org to find out more on the application of GIS data in the financial sector.